हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक ऑन डिस्ट्रो चैनल गाइज आई एम रामकृष सिंह यूनिटी गेम डेवलपर यूट्यूबर एंड ब्लॉगर सो इन दिस टूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू जस्ट लर्न अबाउट द मूवमेंट एज वेल एज हाउ वी कैन प्लेस द कैमरा विद द प्लेयर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द टू डी वीडियो सो फर्स्ट आई विल स्टार्ट विद द डेमो इन लास्ट आई विल नॉट गिव द डेमो बट फर्स्ट आई विल शेयर विथ यू दैट हाउ इट वर्क ऑन द मल्टीप्लेयर सो हेयर कैन सी आई हैव जस्ट ज्वाइन इन माई यूनिटी एंड हेयर आई हैव रन माई एप्लीकेशन सो हेयर जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द स्टार्ट शेयर सो आई जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द स्टार्ट शेयर so now you can see i have giving the functionality where we can see the other player this is the second player and we are able to see through the camera and we can move so you can see we are able to to move okay let's suppose we are so we are able to move so we are going to perform this thing okay so let's start the 2d video if you are new on the channel make sure subscribe the channel and you can just get my host mode source code from my patreon page by just giving 3 dollar and we are just starting this is the fourth part if you have not watched my last part so please watch so just you can support me on my patreon page so let's start with the basic theory you can understand from very basic fun means fixed update network so basically in this if we want to provide the movement so it is important to give the input so basically mostly we work with the fixed update update but in this we will work with the fixed update network that is the fun basically it run on every tick and what is the tick i have explained whole tutorial on my youtube channel that is in host mode so you can just go and watch you will learn a lot about the what is the tick and how it works every tick is means a one game loop it uh, fusion work on the basis of the tick so you can go and just explore that but basic thing is that it is a one loop and every time it get updated with the network but what happening is in shared mode in shared modes uh, you can just uh, learn from the name that is the shared mode means all the authority to other player is same uh, here is no any host no any server no anything here is only client means everyone has their authority you can call client or you can call host you can say that every player have same authority everyone have same authority so that's why we have to use state authority so basically state authority let us know that it is a local player or it is a host player on the basis of that we just give the input so if we are giving the input to local player so it will just move on our device as well as it sync on the other player device so every time whenever you are trying to do anything so at that time you have to use state authority state at all state authority will help help you to understand which is the local player which is the remote and for using the phone we have to use network behavior class so let's start in the scripting part so that you can learn what we are trying to share with you so here we are in the unity so first we have to create one script so go and create one script player movement so this player movement script we have to attach on our player so go in the prefab script we have to attach on our shared player so just go here and then you can search player movement so currently we have assigned this and as well as this is the player so we want a different color just assign this material here now it is green so here we are in the script so first thing what we have to use we have to use fusion fusion so that we can use the fusion thing and here we have we don't need mono behavior we want network behavior so that we can utilize our fun so here we have network behavior so just use override and fi fix update network okay so basically this will call in every tick so here we will write our code so first thing for movement we need character controller so it's just add public and then we need character controller so just you can write the controller and in start method you can just take that controller so basically you have to initialize so just it is initialize and what we need so basically we need a speed so you can use public float so this value you can take 2f or you can add just 5f and now we have to come in the fixed update network so i explained to you that state authority play a very important role basically we have to check first whenever we are going to give the input so what we have to check state authority 
सो मेक श्योर दैट यू आर यूजिंग स्टेट अथॉरिटी नॉट इनपुट अथॉरिटी सो स्टेट अथॉरिटी सो इफ इट इज फॉल्स सो इफ इट इज फॉल्स मीन्स वी डोंट हैव इज अ प्लेयर आई डोंट हैव द स्टेट अथॉरिटी सो एट दैट टाइम आई हैव टू रिटर्न बट इफ इट इज ट्रू दैट आई हैव स्टेट अथॉरिटी सो एट दैट टाइम वी कैन गो फर्दर ओके बेसिकली इट इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट इट इज लेटिंग अस नो दैट इफ इट इज लोकल प्लेयर सो जस्ट गो एंड वर्क इफ इट इज नॉट सो यू कैन नॉट गो फर्दर वी नीड अ मूवमेंट डायरेक्शन मीन्स इनपुट थिंग हाउ वी आर गेटिंग एंड दिस विल बी मूव देन वी आर यूजिंग न्यू एंड हेयर यू कैन क्लीन द थिंग्स सो हेयर वील नीड गेट एक्सिस वॉट एक्सिस वी वॉन्ट सो वी वॉन्ट हॉरिजेंटल सो हॉरिजेंटल एंड देन वाई विल बी जीरो and in jet direction we want same dot get axis and this will be our vertical so use word so now we have the direction what we need so whenever we are going to use anything in the fixed update network so at that time we will not use time dot delta time it is for unity basically we use for runner dot time dot or you can use delta time and after this you have to multiply by your player speed so just do it so basically we have taking the player speed so here is player speed so now we have created the direction now we have created the move okay so you know that whenever we use fun so at that time we have to use runner dot delta time i mean if we up use update or fix update so we use time dot delta time to pass to controller so just use controller dot move and then we pass the move and here we have to check one more thing move is not equal to move is not equal to vector 3 dot g you, you can check that if move is not equal to 0 so at that time what we want so basically we have to use this game object and then transform then forward direction then we have to pass the move okay great so now we have done the code for our movement so basically this will help us to move whenever we will use w and vertical means d so at that time we are able to move you can use the arrow and now let's suppose we want to give the jump thing on the space button so at that time need some variable to give this value so first thing basically we need a so first thing we want is just in which direction we want to move so we need so basically this will be velocity we need that if we have press the our space button so for this we need one boolean value so we can use private bool is jump press so basically this will be a boolean value okay and we need the gravity so use public float basically you can assign your gravity gravity and you can use minus 9.81 and we need what will be the jump force means the uh, we want to provide the jump force like we want a very high or very low so on the basis of that we can use same and this will be so these are the things we need for jump so basically whenever we want this kind of stuff so you can use update method like uh, we are using this boolean value so basically this will help us to know that button have been pressed and final thing we will provide in the fun like fix update network so let's suppose we are writing if and here we have to write like is jump and here we will do not false it will be true and when we want to do so whenever we are clicking the space button so we have to use input dot get button down and here we can use just double quote and jump so whenever jump will be click and whenever space button will be click so each jump press will be call and at that time it will be true and whenever it is getting end of the fix update network so at that time we have to say it will be false like after one tick it should be a false okay great and here we want to check that we are in the grounded or not so here is grounded controller dot is controller and then we have to is grounded if it is grounded so at that time we need the direction we have to give the direction like velocity and this will be new vector 3 then 
minus 1 0 and this will also help us if we are in the slope like uh, if we are on the normal ground so that will work but whenever we are on the ground rate so at that time we are giving the velocity minus 1 we have check and to get the exact direction so what we need so we need a velocity so here we have velocity and dot y and plus and then we have to use gravity delta time and here we want to provide the jump force so when we want to provide the jump force so we want to provide jump force whenever we want to provide the jump force so when we want to provide so we want to check that it is uh, clicked and if it is click and we want to check that controller is on grounded so use is grounded so at that time here we want to add the force so here we want to add velocity dot y and equal to that will be jump force okay great and if we are moving so at that time this is the velocity so at that time here is the move so first we need to add velocity and we have to also add that is the runner dot delta time okay so now we are adding this velocity means if it is jumping so at that time we want to add it in the moment so that it feel the smooth so at that time we are ready now control s and get back to the unity so currently we are giving the movement as well as our uh, jump thing and in next part we will learn about that how we can add the camera thing now you are able to see our player is able to move okay and click on the jump so jump thing is not working so directly you can use character control or you can give the private so it will not show the reference and here we have make one mistake that is the jump force so jump force should not be minus 8 so just do the 5 so here is the 5 a save and it is looking in the player so here you are able to see that on jump force is still showing the 9 so just 8 5 and let's run so now you can see we are able to jump and we are able to move okay so great so in next part we will add that how we can add the camera with the player okay so this will be a very long tutorial so that's why i am not adding this so a smaller tutorial just help you to engage and i would request to you that type every code because that will help us to remember the code so that's it for today's tutorial thanks for watching and please like subscribe and share and your like motivate me your comment motivate me so see you in next video bye bye take care and you can also support me on my patreon page so see you